Um. Oh. Mm. My phone. Uh. My laptop. My camera. My TV. My hair dryer. My hair straighteners, obviously. The heating in my house. My <laughs> kettle. Kettle to make my tea. My oven. My oven. My microwave. Uh, it's all food related. My bus to work. The bus to college. Oh yeah, my train. The tube, car, bus. Most things really. When you start to think about it, you do need energy for most stuff. It's actually quite scary. And obviously it all has to come from somewhere. Damn. And, you know, what happens when it runs out? Damn. Yep. That's what we thought. Then we found out that luckily, like us, a lot of people are just getting thinking about this. And, luckily again, there's a debate beginning. Everywhere, from the halls of government to your local calf. Your school. Your workplace. Businesses. Parks. Pubs. Football clubs. Everywhere. About where all the energy we're going to need for the rest of our lives is going to come from. And energy takes a long time to produce. So believe it or not, the decisions have to be made, like, now. And they're either going to keep me in clean, safe energy for the rest of my life, or... Or... Yep. Yep. Worryingly important. And when you think about it, you realise that whatever gets decided... Build a nuclear power station down the road. Stick a wind turbine, you know... In your garden. On my house. We're stuck with it, because we need the energy. As we've already established. Damn. So surely if anyone should have a say in this debate, it's us. Who are actually going to be using the energy. And dealing with whatever baggage comes from making it. For the rest of our lives. And I would say... I know worryingly little about this. Two goals then. Goal one. Get someone somewhere in our government to listen to what we think. Well, more good news. They've just started listening. They are giving all people, young and old, a voice in the debate. That means us. Any of your friends. Your family. Parents. Teachers. Your little sister. Anyone you know can get on that website and speak up. Play this cool game thing. And show them exactly how you want your energy to be produced. And your home, your city. Our country. Kept safe. So, result. Which brings us to... Goal two. Knowing enough to have an opinion. Some of us have made a start on that one. Over six months, we travelled the length and breadth of the country. Visiting all these different kinds of power stations. In search of the answers... That will determine our future. How much CO2 does coal produce? How long does nuclear waste actually last? What are the trade-offs that we need to make? Wouldn't it be cool if we could make our own energy? Should we put solar panels on all our roofs? What about having electric cars to store energy in the batteries? How much tidal power do we have on this island? So there's a lot to get your head around. We've made a start. It's a work in progress. But even on the basis of what we've just said, what do you think? Do you want your laptop powered by nuclear reactors or wind farms? Are you cool with just burying all that carbon? Surely there's only so much carbon you can bury. Are you okay with just trusting that's even going to work? The debate's beginning now. Our future is about to be written. We've got our foot in the door. Our voice in the room. We've got somebody's ear and we can have a huge impact. So, what do you think? <laughs>